Hello everyone and welcome back to Shire Farm. We're just going to park this tractor up because we've got some new equipment to buy. Now, at the end of the last episode, we uh, noticed that we're going to have a few issues with trying to get the eggs out of this area here. Now, I do have a bit of a plan. Now, what we was able to do, I uh, really need to be able to walk around there better, is um, find a mod on Mod Hub that will probably really help us out. So, I'll show you which one it's going to be forklifts now i had a quick look and some of the original forklifts that are on the game even the mod ones um and the platinum expansion one which is a really nice forklift is really expensive and obviously more money than what we've got and again i still think access will be a bit of a problem now i have actually found this um i i'm not gonna try and pronounce that but um it's a what i would call a little bt or um a little uh, pallet truck that we can use um it is electric but uh, I don't think that's a big issue. And I think that's going to be absolutely perfect. Now, we are going to make it with with uh, backrest and with some work lights. I think the main core is fine. Um, we can change it, but I don't really see why. I think it's keeping it the... Uh, I think that's a drunken rich yellow. That's what we'll call that. But uh, it might be completely wrong, the pronunciation there. So I do apologise if it is. Let's buy that. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Now, I am going to do something that I wouldn't normally do. Now, it's something I might do further on in this game. Um, is probably turn on a mod called Store Deliveries. I haven't got that installed this time. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go to the developer. I'm going to swap to it. I'm actually going to go to the developer mod. I'm actually going to move it um, on purpose. Because... Uh, There, teleport, teleport vehicles, and I'm going to tell it that we want to put it here, and we are here. Fantastic! Right, let's start the engine. Oh, hey, oh, nippy. <laughs> now, obviously, I know it being electric, that's going to might be a bit of an issue for us moving forward. We might have to put a charger in, um, but it's worth it i think it's definitely worth buying it because we're going to access to be able to move around quite a lot of pallets and bits and bobs so Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's fun um Ooh, crikey right let's go get the eggs then because we need to have a look at the price of the eggs actually eggs at the moment is okay so it's one yeah quite a bit higher than it normally would be so eggs three 3032 at Shire Allotments, that's fine. It's not the easiest place to get into Shire Allotments, but uh, oh well. Hopefully, we should be okay. So, let's take this round here, and then we'll probably change the um, the trailer to be a flatbed trailer as well. Well, size difference. <laughs> Look at that. Size difference between our tractor, which I wouldn't class as a big tractor, and this little BT truck is brilliant. Right, let's go get the eggs, and we'll bring them out outside of this area. Then we can go get the uh, Master Ferguson, which I was taking to get some water actually, but uh, I never finished that job. I can always do that quickly as well. And then what we'll do is we'll get these loaded up, take these to Shire allotments. Ooh. Even this is getting a bit stuck. And I think we've probably made enough money to pay this off on eggs alone. Well, hey, look at that. That's, this is really, really cool. I'm really, really impressed with this. Um, let's see how we get on. Hopefully it will not have an issue. Oh, would be good if I didn't get stuck on the house. There we are. Okay. Now I know there's a point here where you can get stuck. So I'll keep this side of the uh, climbing frames, etc. Right, we'll put them here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so it doesn't have an issue. I'm going to get the other one quick. <laughs> this is such a cool little uh, invention. I like this. I think what we'll do when we're done with it, we'll put it in the garage out the way and we can use it then around the farm. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a um, something a bit new for the farm. <laughs> something I've never used on a series before. Literally after I'd finished recording the last episode, um, I was thinking to myself, I'm not really sure what we're going to do about the uh, 
access issue. And then I thought, I'll go on Mod Hub, have a quick look. And within a couple of minutes, I'd like, ah, this is a good idea. So that's why I thought, yeah, let's put this in the series. Something a bit different. I've not seen them before used in anybody else's uh, Let's Play series. I've not used them before. So, yeah, hopefully you're... <laughs> You think it's quite a good little purchase and something a bit uh, a bit unusual and fun. Um, I do know it has a few issues where it does have collisions and can cause. Um, and it does seem to um, kind of have a mind of its own at times, but I don't think that's an issue. So let's put this away. Boo -de -boo. And stop. Engine off. Got full charge still, so that's good. Maybe I'll shut this up. Then we'll swap to the Massa Ferguson. That's right at the edge, so we may as well quickly go get some water. <clears throat> and then I'll discuss what we're going to be doing in this episode. Now, obviously, as you know, I've gone back down to a single day in the month. Turn the lights on. And um, so hopefully it means that we'll be able to skip through some of the months. So I think, obviously, we've got the eggs to do today. And then I'm going to skip to December. Um, and then we're going to see what's available, anything we need to do, little jobs around the farm, etc. I don't think there's going to be a lot, but we can have a quick look. And then we're going to move straight on to January to uh, sell the grain and to also um, look at selling the straw. And we're going to get sort of a, good, a good cash injection into the farm, hopefully. Uh, whoops, edge there, oh well. And that, that will help us, I think, get some a little bit more equipment. Got a bit of a plan for uh, some more equipment moving forward. And also, I think I've got a plan in what we're going to do for um, putting in what crops. Now, I have also seen a mod which allows us to do like a work plan in the game. So I'm thinking I might install that off camera um, and do a bit of testing on that on my other on my other map that I run of this series. It's like a direct copy. I will use it like as a bit of a dev environment to make sure things I like to run in the series are going to work. And then we can kind of plan out uh, together. What the uh, what we want to do with our crops, etc. Now, when we uh, do do that, I think it's going to mean that we can keep looking back on what we've done. I think you can actually even plan uh, a couple of years in advance, so that's going to be quite good for the crop rotation mod as well. So that should be good. Um, but when we when we do move into different uh, different months, so let's say next month, December, we will we will check the contracts market as well, just to make whoa, good breaks just to make sure there's no contracts we can do um, over the winter to get a little bit more money in so obviously at the moment um, yeah 9,251 is not amazing but we've got some productions going we've got the greenhouses we've got the sheep we've got the chickens so I think we'll be fine uh, it's just going to take a little bit of time to well, once we get going I think we'll be good and one of the things I'd like to look at buying is a bigger seed and potentially one that is a direct uh, direct seeder so we can then skip a step a little bit because that and uh, that should move things on a little bit so what we'll do is we're going to leave this here i don't see any point in uh, overloading any water anywhere let's get this on here i have thought about something actually one thing i don't have is we don't have a uh, pallet fork for this. Now we have our pallet forks on the front of the front loader. While I was at the shop, um, off camera, I was able to actually pick up woo, the last of the seed bags. Wow, <laughs> rikey, that was bad. Um, so that's a good thing. So that's just another little job finished. So let's just drop that. Oh, no, 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 no. There we are. I really don't you like using pallet forks or normal tines for do big bags that's why I've got a big bag lifter right next job actually is we need to send those up we need to actually um, go and get the trailer changed over to a flatbed trailer again which is absolutely fine that's mm -hmm. never done before so that's good um, and what I have been doing off camera actually is doing a little bit of research is I am quite um, interested in running the sim dash um, the sim dashboard add-on so getting a tablet, having that to the right of my recording equipment and then uh, obviously getting the professional version and then getting some of the community skins on so I can do some of the actions from the um, sim dashboard. I mean if anybody, any of my viewers 
do actually use that, it'd be really nice to hear from you in the comments because um, it's not something I've ever uh, really done. I learned about it very recently um, looking through a, a mod video. So I was, I was quite surprised um, on how it works. I, I have run it actually on my phone, um, but the phone is not really big enough. It's only a, um, it's only a small, uh, small Google Pixel phone, so it's not really a very big phone to be um, running it off, especially with all the uh, different community skins you can get, which do seem to really add to the immersion of um, the actual game. Uh, put that here, I think. So uh, yeah, hopefully in a couple of upcoming videos, um, I might look at getting a uh, might look at get, getting a, a, a cheap Android tablet and uh, maybe putting putting that together. And we shall get this hooked up and take it off to Shire Allotments. We've made it back to the farm, and we are indeed a little bit richer now. I'll actually show you how much we've made in a second, so let me get this uh, parked up. So, we made, and good if I can actually control that, we made £5,046, which is pretty good, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, to honest with you, it didn't, how much does it cost us to buy that bit of machinery? 7000 okay, so, okay, but then again, yeah, okay, 7000 not too bad though. I'm quite happy with that, that... Uh, We've been able to get the eggs, and we've got a uh, another little machine or another little tool on the on the farm that's uh, quite fun. Now, I spoke about this previously um, on the uh, game. I'm just going to skip across the landscape a little bit. I'm going to go to this other field over here. Now, when we uh, did some work in a previous video, follow this road. I'm sure it's down here. It is. Um, we said about we deleted quite a lot of bits and bobs down here. Now we didn't delete everything or sold everything we left a few bits we left the diesel tank this as well etc now i'm actually going to sell this because i'm never gonna potentially farm around here because i would place this as small scale farming for me i like a farms and fields a little bit bigger but they're still good sized fields but it's something i don't think i'm going to do and even if i did i'd still probably trade it all the way back to our main farm etc so we're going to sell this that's going to get us 61,000. So it is ours to sell, so I think it's fair. Same with this diesel as well, so that's 7,000. So what we're going to do, I think, this is back here, I've just realised that the lights on the class are still going. Yep, that's done that. Right, so now I think let us pay some more off the loan. So what's, yeah, I think we're going to. I'm going to repay quite a bit now. I think we can probably pay it all. Yeah, I think we will. Yep. Well, hey, we are loan free. That's fantastic. And we've still got 12,000. So it's not, obviously, it's not a massive amount of money. We only started the episode with like 7,000 or 8,000. We went up to just over that. Um, 12,000, obviously, when we sold the eggs. And now we've just sold everything else on Farm 4 that we're never going to use. Okay, we've got no loan though, so that's a good thing. So let's uh, let's move into December. Now we're now into do uh, December. Let's uh, see how things are looking. So for a start, let's do the normal uh, second-hand vehicle market. Uh, that's not much use to us or the other two. Okay, now let's have a quick look with uh, the stock check so january january no we know about november january january etc etc okay not too bad then let's have a quick look at contracts any contracts no didn't think there would be uh water's looking good food's all looking good yeah okay so yeah i think let's skip this on to january i think because I don't think there's any reason to stick around. Just do one last check quick. Uh, yeah. So we'll put January, January, January for everything there. That's good. What I will do quickly actually is, uh, what's this going to check? So, property income wasn't massively high, but we didn't actually have any loan interest, which is brilliant. So that's really, really good. 
obviously so happy with that right let's move into january right now we're in january uh 543 profit that's good right okay so welcome to january i did see a little bit of snow in the cut scene in between december and january but doesn't seem to have um stuck on the uh, ground or uh, stuck around so that's a bonus so let's do the normal let's check second hand vehicle market not much there that's something we might look at doing at some point but not this time i don't think okay so animals quick waters are a bit low but that's fine wool's getting better chickens yeah all good now right value of that 884 wheat seeds no we don't want seeds straw 38 37 at the moment but it's going down right so i think let's get the class tractor let's transfer and change the trailer over and we're probably going to increase its capacity as well actually so let's just do that quickly and then we're going to fill it up from the uh well hey look at that sorry i keep changing subject there uh yeah we've got some good amount of uh We've got a good amount of uh, produce coming in from the uh, greenhouse now, so I'm happy about that. Right, let's change this trailer. Let's recustomize it. I'm going to go for 26. Okay, that's going to take. But we're going to make we're going to make the money back. It's fine. We're going to have to do it because else we're going to be running back and forth so many times it'd be ridiculous. So I'd rather do this now. I think what I'll do is I'll do the running back and forth to. Let me have a quick look. Shire Grain, yeah, which is at right at the edge of the map. I'm going to go back and forth there. We're actually now on the uh, last load. And what I thought I would do is while I was um, running the wheat back and forth to the uh, grain merchant in Shire Grain, I actually realised that we've got all the bales to do as well. And um, I did realise that the uh, this trailer ooh, can we get around? has actually got an additional hitch. So on the way back on the last run, I actually picked up the bale loader. Um, I ran some uh, loads of bales up to shy grain as well off camera but I thought it'd be a good idea just to record the last run and show the amount of money we've got. Um, hopefully this tractor with its really big convoy of uh, bales and wheat uh, is going to be okay. Um, I think it should be. I think it's going to put quite a bit of stress on the uh, on the tractor but it's quite a uh, fun thing to do and I thought uh, why not uh, put this on the video and show everybody our last load now we've got some good money now 101,000 um, I'm hoping we should be just over the uh, maybe 110,000 mark or something like that once we've got the wheat and all these uh, bales uh, taken to the uh, shy grain and um, hopefully that should give us enough money now to start making some uh, bigger plans and moving on with the series a bit a bit as well um i think after we've done this we'll also move on with uh, moving into february and see what we've got anything to do in february i think we've probably got a little bit of water to put into the sheep and maybe um go from uh, check the chickens as well but i think we will then probably um move into march um, what I will check though is in January we are in winter. Now I will probably put February into two days because I want to make sure that we are in two days ready for March. Because we're going to have quite a lot of work to do in March with the uh, seeding of the top of field three and the bottom of field three. So there's going to be a lot of work there I think um, for this uh, one tractor and one seeder. So uh, yeah, that's definitely something we need to change is the uh, days a week again. Now let's get this to this point. Let's detach the bale loader and let's take the wheat first. So let's do that. Ooh, 103, 105. We might be over 110 then. Yeah, I think we will. That's fantastic. 112. Okay, that's good. Right, let's move this trailer out of the way and then we'll connect the tractor up to the bale loader quickly. So do that quick actually I think because what we'll probably do is when we've got the bell load emptied we'll probably quickly run it back to the shop just over the road take it back return it and then we'll come back to this trailer go back to the farm zoom in a little bit there we go make it a little bit easier there we go 14 more bales to go 
Now, obviously, earlier in the video, we uh, did pay off. There we go. We did pay off the loan. So this is all our own money now, which is absolutely fantastic news. I'm really, really happy about that. It's only taken us uh, 12 episodes to actually pay that off. Um, we've done pretty well, I think, though. Um, we've not gone too bad on our equipment size, etc. This all this is going to help a lot. So let's see how much that gets us. Not bad. 12,000, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right, so we'll wait for this just to finish unloading and getting itself all back together again. Now right, that we're back on the farm, we'll park this trailer up. Um, we'll put it into the repair bay area and we can look at changing it over to the smaller trailer um, in a couple of uh, weeks. I don't think we're going to need it for a while. So let's uh, do that. Now we turn the lights off. No, this time we always forget to do that. Oh well. Right, so um, we are. Let's just double check something. So we are completely out of any kind of uh, straw, etc. So that's good. Uh, real time stop check. Yeah, January grass. We're not going to sell the grass. We need to keep that. Seeds. We don't really see the point of keeping those. So nothing else to sell this month. Um, got a little bit there for um, lettuce, tomatoes, and strawberries. But I think we're going to leave that to go over to the next year because I don't see the point in um, selling that straight away because I don't think it's going to make us enough money. It's just going to spend more time running around than it's actually going to make us money. So. Let's check on the animals quickly. Uh, they're still okay. Lambs are okay, yep. Water, a bit low. Productions, a bit low on water as well. So, okay. Uh, I think we'll have enough though to move into February. So we're going to do that now, I think. And what, ah, as I said, we need to change the days, don't we, quickly. So we'll do that as well. So we'll make that two days per season I think when we move into February it's probably going to take it as uh, the next season so oh, while we're here quickly let's see if there you go Todd give you some more food and we'll go into February here we are back in February let's see uh, the weather's looking good actually I didn't expect that so let's have a quick look at what we've got left to do so nearly out of water there Water's good on there. Chickens are okay. Food, probably need to buy some more food, actually. Should have kept some back, really, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Uh, anything in February to sell? No. Nope. Lettuce, etc. Nothing in the crop calendar to do. No. Nope. What's the weather looking like? Uh, February's looking good. March, April, and May are terrible. Oh, well. Well, that should be okay. Any contracts to do? nope okay so i think um we shall look at leaving this video here and you can join me in the next one when we will start doing some uh, seeding on the top of field three and the bottom of field three and i look forward to seeing you in the next video many thanks for joining me